First of all, a young dog allegedly abused while tied up in the back of a house. Tipsters providing us the video you'll see only on 7 when they felt nothing was being done about it. 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig has been working on this. And Kim, we know you're an animal lover. It's tough for animal lovers to see. I mean, what did you think when you saw it? Well, Glenda, you know, I have to admit, I was stunned when I saw this video, and I feel so bad for this dog. I contacted the Michigan Humane Society and Detroit Animal Control. More on that in a moment. But first, take a look at the video for yourself, and here's how the owners are responding. I'm definitely going to question him about whether he was hitting the dog or not. This is one of the videos Action News has sent to the Michigan Humane Society and Detroit Animal Control. In the first one, it appears someone is beating the dog with their hands. That's my eight-year-old son. Why is your eight year old son beating the dog? I'm sure he was trying to untangle her and she's really wild. So I'm probably, I don't know, he probably was trying to get her off of him because he's just trying to untangle her. But the tipsters who sent us this video say this young dog is hit and kicked on a regular basis. Here, a man appears to be striking her with a hose. I was untangling the dog. That's, I wasn't hitting the dog. That's, you, that's you hitting, that's the, you hitting the dog. I was the moving dog. the dog. The dog was okay, right there. I was moving the dog. dog. That's crazy. I promise you, okay. I would never hit the dog. If I would have never seen that video, I would have never knew. But that video is just devastating. Tied up in the backyard here is where this eight-month-old pit bull, Sona, lives. And her owners claim that what's on the video is not abuse. I don't know if he's hitting her. My son <laughs> wouldn't do nothing like that, like intentionally hit a dog unless she was just being wild. Mm -hmm. No, no, I didn't hit the dog. I didn't hit the dog. Like I probably was sw I was I swung at the dog to make her move, but I didn't hit the dog. People need to care about this situation, even if they don't care about about dogs in general, because this is the type of behavior that will precede a bite. We showed the videos to the head of Detroit Dog Rescue, a nonprofit rescue and shelter. You know, Detroit Dog Rescue does not have an official investigation unit. We are working on that for 2018, but this is why I beg for these cases to be looked into, because this type of case will end up in a child getting bit. What happened when MHS came out here yesterday? Nothing. They just checked. They said we, we got a call. I said, as always, you always get a call. They so said, they've been out here before? Yeah, yeah we've lived here for four years. Every time they check our dog, they say she's fine. So we know from the dog's owner that MHS was out here yesterday, but is anything else happening? Well, we don't know that because MHS and Animal Control have not returned our calls or our emails. Back to you, Glenda. Wow, Kim, that video, pretty telling. You know, we heard the couple say the dog's wild and hyper, but it is a puppy and it is tied up. Absolutely, and that's a problem for any dog, for any dog to remain tied up like that day and night. But I told these people, I said, if your dog is hyper, first of all, it's a puppy, you've got to get that dog some exercise. I told the man, I said, you look like you're physically fit, do the same thing for your dog. Back to you. All right, Kim, thank you.